Hi, I just want to give a quick update, a one-year update on my uh, 2018 Yamaha FJR. Um, first off, been an embarrassing year, probably the fewest miles I've put on a motorcycle in the last 20 years for one year. But it is what it is. They, uh, that old saying, uh, life is what happens to you while you're busy making plans. So anyways, just makes me appreciate what rides I get a lot more. Okay, from uh, since my first video, really the only thing I've really added is the Yamaha Tour windshield. I had this on my 2013 FJR. The stock windshield is way too short. I'm uh, six feet tall, but I'm, I sit taller in the saddle. I have short legs, long trunk. So the Touring windshield suits me perfectly. Um, other things I did not add, um, I had mirror extenders on my 2013. I don't have them on here. I had driving lights down on the fork, I had Denali. Really nice lights, but chose not to put them on here. Um, I do still have my uh, Russell Daylong seat. I salvaged that from my wreck bike. Um, and I kept the Touratech um, luggage rack. Uh, this is not in Touratech's catalog anymore, so I don't know if they still make this. Not that big a deal. You really can only put about five to seven pounds on the back of a bike like this. Underneath that, I have the bracket for my Pirate's Lair backrest. I'll show you that in a minute. Um, and I added uh, Ram Ball in my in the uh, stock uh, extra mirror position, just in case I want to put a camera or something, which I don't. Uh, that's really it. Um, I do have a pigtail down here. It's tucked up underneath for my heated gear. Yeah, here's what I use. Uh, I can plug this into the heated gear um, plug and then run my battery tender or my um, air compressor off of here. Also on my 2013, under the seat I had uh, Eastern Beaver uh, PC8 auxiliary fuse box. I just don't need it anymore. I'm not going to add uh, much more. I do miss my Powerlet uh, accessories, but I can get along without them. It's not that big a deal. I want to talk about the paint real quick on this. Um, I really like the matte finish, but I was kind of leery of it. I'm thinking a uh, matte finish, uh, that's like flat paint on drywall, but no, not the case. This is really easy to maintain. It's a very, very smooth surface. Um, all I've had to do is wipe it off with a you know, soaking wet rag and then dry it. Uh, I still don't know if there's any, uh, you know, like wax or anything you can use on these, but so far I'm, I'm very happy with it. So if you like the look of matte paint, but you've been afraid of it, um, don't be. And if you don't like the look, obviously you're not going to get it anyways. This is the way I ride uh, pretty much all the time, uh, whether it's a long trip or uh, just a day trip like today. Uh, I am going to try and get rid of this bag for the summer and just there's nothing in there that I couldn't fit in my saddle bag I just like the convenience of a top bag, you know zip it open real quick get a bottle of water a hat Whatever, but I'm going to try and get rid of it. It makes it a Little awkward just getting on and off the back to have to watch where I swing my leg uh, We'll see if I can get along without it Talk about maintenance real quick on an FJR. It's really, you know, not a lot different from a lot of motorcycles. Um, oil filter is down here. You're going to get oil on the fairing when you change it, but uh, there's ways to, you know, mop it up. Uh, clutch and brake fluid, pretty standard. This is an ABS bike, so uh, when you change brake fluid, you're supposed to trigger the uh, ABS system to get the fluid out of the ABS pump. I never did it that way on my 2013. 
um, but I did buy a little um, little adapter that I can plug in here under underneath here and supposedly uh, it'll switch on and off it'll trigger the ABS pump when you're changing the brake fluid and you can get that couple of teaspoons of extra fluid out of the ABS pump um, the other maintenance the spark plugs of course are under the tank um, the uh, radiator coolant, I think you have to take off both sides of the big fairing here, which is a pain in the butt. I'm not sure. I, I never did that on my old bike. Um, and I'm probably not going to do a lot of my own maintenance anymore. Um, here's, here's the way I see it. There's three, three good reasons to do your own maintenance. One, obviously, is the cost. Uh, around here, maintenance... Um, labor costs about $125 an hour. There's a few shops at $85 an hour, but they tend to want to work on dirt bikes, uh, small sport bikes, or small cruisers. Haven't found anybody really wants to tackle the FJR. Um, so yeah, you can save a lot of money uh, doing your own. Second reason uh, people often give is make sure it's done right. Um, that depends on your own skill. I'm I'm pretty good at the basic stuff. I have a good set of tools. I have good wrenches, sockets, all that. I don't really have any specialty tools. I do have a carb tune device. I can do the uh, throttle body sink. Uh, I did that for the first time on my 2013. It was pretty easy, not a big deal. Um, I wouldn't do, I don't do valve checks or anything where I'm tearing into the engine or transmission. So making sure it gets done right, uh, that's, that's really a personal thing if you have the skill. I do have a factory service manual, but when I read that it just makes me uh, sure that I don't want to try things myself, most of the case. And the last reason is if you just really enjoy doing it. Um, those days are over for me. I used to. I've done a lot of motorcycle and car work and even uh, DIY stuff around my house. And uh, frankly, I don't want to anymore. I don't enjoy it. Now I don't look forward to doing maintenance. I just want the maintenance done. So I guess that's one good thing about being a low mileage rider. I won't have to do it too often. but. Uh, on the other hand, when I do have to have it done and I pay for it, it's gonna it's gonna cost me. But yeah, I've just uh, just kind of aged out of that. It's not enjoyable to me. If it is for you, then I admire that, and uh, that's great. So, anyways, uh, can't think of anything else right at right at the moment. Yes, I can. I just remembered. I want to show you a backrest I have for this for the passenger. Okay, this is a uh, backrest, passenger backrest from a company called Pirate's Lair. And basically, it just slides into this bracket. Right there. And screws in. And this is a knurled, um, knurled uh, knob that he gives makes it easy to get it on and off and he also sends a, uh, a fixed hex head screw if you want a more permanent mount. This is real sturdy. I uh, had the bracket on my 2013 when it wrecked. I salvaged that. Um, in the five years I had my 2013, this has never been used. It's never been used on this bike. Uh, if you only carry a passenger occasionally, this is a great option. But if you're carrying a passenger all the time or for a trip, you're obviously going to need more luggage space and you're better off just getting a uh, top box either from Yamaha, GV, Shad, uh, whoever. Um, this will not satisfy you for, uh, for a long trip with two people. So that's it. Thank you.